he is the executive director of energy efficiency and renewable sector. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you, Abdallah. Nice As to meet you. At the beginning, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Abdullah Yusuf Ashay from Emirates National School. I have a project about a member in community. What are his rights? and the responsibilities and rules. I hope you can help me. What are the, um, the rights and responsibilities of a member of the community? Of course I can help you. Of course. First, can you introduce yourself and what's your job? My name is Andrea Di Gregorio uh, and I have a, a job uh, to uh, manage a small office uh, in the municipality. Uh, which um, has the purpose of uh, supporting uh, Ras al Khaimah uh, in, a, in a long journey. Uh, you see this uh, paper? Here, here we have the journey. You see all these people? Yes. Rowing. They are rowing from Ras al Khaimah today to Ras al Khaimah of the future. And um, um, it's more or less like you are uh, what, what you do in, in school when you, when you study. Yes. When you study, you, you get something done every day. But what is most important is what you get for the future, for you and for the society. And that's what we are also doing. We are working for the future of Rasa Khaimah. How long have you worked in this job? I'm, I'm more or less, I have more or less 20 years of experience. Okay. Hmm? What made you want to work in this profession? That's because it's a very exciting journey. It's a very exciting um, job to work for the future. No? We have a, a long, long um, development in front of us. We want to make uh, Ras al Khaimah, uh, we, we want to make in Ras al Khaimah energy and water more affordable. Uh, and we want to do that by uh, consuming less energy and water. And we want to uh, have more renewable energy uh, as a source of energy, like solar energy, for example. Uh, and, uh, and it's very exciting because it will make Ras al Khaimah more sustainable for uh, future generations. What were the requirements, education, to become this role? I am an engineer. Uh, but uh, in our office, uh, we don't need only engineers. There are several other engineers. Uh, we need also people uh, who uh, have a good communication because they need to communicate with different parts of the society. And uh, we also uh, need people with an economics background uh, who can, uh, for example, assess whether our initiatives have the right balance between benefits and costs. What field does this fall under? Um, this is the, the, the field of, um, if you want, we can say environmental uh, engineering. So it's a technical office uh, which has um, an energy and environmental uh, purpose. How do you help your community? We support the communities in many ways. Uh, first of all, as I mentioned, we want to make energy and water more affordable. So we want uh, an economy that consumes less energy and water and where uh, the cost of energy and water is lower because renewable energy with its technology will allow us to produce energy at a lower cost. Uh, and second, uh, we want to uh, make our communities in Rasakema more livable, where people can uh, live more uh, outdoor, spend more time outdoors. Do you play outdoors? Do you like playing outdoors? We would like more people to play outdoors, more people to spend time outdoors, and that's what we are working on also. Um, also, we are working on uh, uh, protecting uh, uh, the natural resources uh, and therefore the environment, as I said, which will make, again, uh, life more enjoyable from residents. What are some of your rights and responsibilities that you have in this job? Mm. Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, what we want to do, uh, we want to um, uh, accomplish uh, our mission uh, well 
and with honor. Do you know what does it mean? What it means, well and with honors? Well means that we want to do something useful. And with honor means that we want to do so um, uh, while uh, abiding to the, to the law and while also respecting the culture and the feelings of people. Now, uh, what are the responsibilities? Uh, there are the, the, the two types, two, type of, two types of rules in our office. The first rule is that everyone should do his or, own or, or her own best, depending on his own or her own uh, capabilities. And the second rule is that everyone should collaborate with others uh, with sincerity uh, uh, and trust. Now, um, these rules seem to work, to work quite, quite well. If you, if you see our people, you, the, you saw them uh, in the other room, they're all working together. Have you seen that? So it's going well. Um, there are not many rules apart from this. We are very, very open. Uh, we like working together and doing our best. If you don't take care of your responsibilities, what are the possible consequences for not following a rule? Um, those rules that I mentioned to you, I, I've never seen, it never happened to us that they were uh, not followed. Everybody follows those rules. Uh, I would say if one day there is a case where those rules are not followed, it means that I haven't done a good job and it means that I will take, I will need to take action and improve what we are doing. Thank you for your time. I w and I wish you the best. Thank you, Abdallah. It was a pleasure meeting you, and I wish you also the best. Finally, I learned that every member in any community has his rights and responsibilities to follow. It. This achieves the general interest of the member and community.